Hey, what's up guys? Everyman Tech here. So today we got the Xbox wireless headset for review. Now, before we get into the main features and the tech specs and all that good stuff, we first want to talk about the unboxing and what you should expect when you first unbox these for the first time. Now, when you first unbox these for the first time, your first thing you'll see is the headphones and you also have your, of course, your paperwork and your cables. Now, this box didn't really have much to it, but it was definitely well packaged. So when you take the headphones out of the box and you take them out of the packaging for the first time, the first thing you're greeted with is that beautiful matte black finish with the green accents to highlight the Xbox themed colors. And also, you will also notice that you have a USB-C charging adapter cable along with that. And again, you have your paperwork, so. Now that we got that out the way, now let's talk about some of the main features of the headphones. Now from first impressions, now the first thing that you'll also notice too on the headphones before you even try them on is the fact that they have a bendable microphone and that in the hand that the weight is pretty sturdy. Now these headphones are definitely uh, built with good quality as you can tell by the weight, but they're not too heavy enough where they'll be uncomfortable in your head. And you also too will notice that the you have the bendable, um, not the bendable microphone, but in addition to that, they also have the cushion headband on the top where or it's cushioned on the top part of your head where your headphones will rest. Now it's not cushioned on the sides, except for on the ear cuffs, of course, where it has padding there is pretty thick, but you also have some padding, um, adequate padding. Uh, it's not like too paddy, but it's just enough where it's going to provide some comfort on top of your head during long play uh, hours but we'll definitely test those out once we get them on and try them out for the first time now for the main features of the headphones now the first main feature that you will definitely notice that is different from any other pair of gaming headphones or audio headphones for that matter is if the use of the dial controls yes on the left and right side of these headphones you have uh, one side for adjusting the volume between your gameplay and your audio as far as like your phone call or if you're listening to some music on your phone you can adjust the volume in between that and or the, so you can hear more of your game or hear more of your personal audio music or podcast whatever you're listening to and on your other side on your right hand side of course you have your volume up and volume down controls and if you were someone who would have the microsoft surface headphones too or someone who just used those in the past or just doesn't or have anything about them. Well, you can definitely, since these are Microsoft headphones, they definitely mimic the same design and functions as the dial controls with those headphones as well. So if you want someone who does have those Surface headphones, then you will definitely be able to use these and they'll be more natural. Now for the third main feature. Well, this one should definitely be a no brainer, but definitely something that's worth mentioning is the easy pairing of these headphones to your Xbox console, of course, right? Since they are Xbox headphones. But yeah, definitely, these definitely pair with the headphones without the need for any cables, dongles, or even a base station compared to other headphones on the market. Now, also to note that once you pair these headphones to your console, that you will actually be able to turn on your console with the headphones itself. So when you power up your headphones, you will actually turn on your Xbox too. So it's definitely something that worth mentioning. It's definitely something you need to remember. So if you was trying to use these headphones and you didn't want to turn on your console, just make sure that you unpair these headphones from your console before uh, turning your console and stuff off. So that way when you try to turn these on with another device or you're trying to listen to these headphones with another device that you don't accidentally t turn on your Xbox itself. Um, during the pairing and um, during the power on process. Now, in addition to those other main features that we mentioned prior, now it's definitely something that we definitely want to take note of, and that is the sound quality of the headphones as far as listening to audio for during your gameplay and, you know, just also being able to chat with the other person on the other end of, of your headphones. Now, these headphones utilize something called voice isolation and auto mute. Now, what is that technology and what will it do? Now, the auto mute actually takes care of background noise in the background and the voice isolation actually allows you to clearly chat with the person on the other end of the headphones or so that way you have a clear line of communication that every word that is said 
is understood by the other person on the other end and it just takes away all the other background noise and all the other stuff that you definitely don't want in the middle of your communication with your gaming partner or what have you so auto mute and voice isolation are the technologies and you'll also note too that these do come with a mute button on the, which is located on the back of the headphones itself and if you just so you have some kind of indication of whether your mic is actually muted or not now unlike some of those flip mics um, mute mics that flip up and down to unmute and mute these headphones actually have an indicator light that is actually located on the mouthpiece itself so if you're trying to figure out if you're muted or not you can just see like a clear a white light and that is will be on or off depending on if it's muted or not now if you're muted it will be the light you will be on so you'll be able to see that in addition to that you'll also if it's off you'll see that there will be no light so once no light means you're talking and you can be heard and the light on means you're muted and you won't be heard at all and just a quick note too just about the power it on so that one green button in the back, which is sticking out, is definitely for an important button to notice, and it's definitely a button that you need to be more familiar with. So with that button, that button is actually a Bluetooth pairing button, and it's actually an on and off button. So there's a pair it, you hold the button in, and you'll hear like an audible um, sound, or like sound like a radar or sonar sound, like it's trying to follow a signal. That is where you will actually be able to pair your device or pair it to your Xbox console. And in addition to that, you want to turn it off. You click, just click the button twice to turn it off. And you click it one time to turn it on. Now, in addition to pairing to just the other devices, which is pretty much straightforward, you just pair it. You just pair, you put the Bluetooth headphones, I mean the wireless headphones in the pairing mode. You look on your device, go to your settings and you hit Bluetooth and it'll connect. But if, it, if you're not familiar on how to do that with the Xbox console, which is going to be a doozy, you will definitely have to, it's a two-step process. Now you have to, one, put your headphones in parry mode on, on your headphones by holding in that green button that I mentioned before. But you'll also have to do it while you're doing that at the same time, hold the button on your Xbox. So what that would do, it starts the communication between your headphones and between the Xbox console. So holding those at the same time will allow it to talk to each other. Now I will mention that these pro this process is not an instantaneous process so what i'm saying is it's going to take some couple of minutes it won't just connect right away but first you'll see when you actually try to do it uh, it took me about maybe 10 uh, about like five or ten minutes um just trying to get the syncing right but once it got it it connected with no problem so that's just something that definitely taking um taking taking note of is the fact that these headphones and pairing them with the Xbox console might be a little tricky in the beginning, but once you get it down, or once you have them paired, especially if you're someone who just generally just want to have these headphones dedicated to these your Xbox console and nothing else, then you'll have no problem with um, doing that. Once you get it connected, that it'll it'll just turn on and sync every time you turn your Xbox on. It'll sync and talk to each other as you want to. Now, as far as the tech specs is concerned, I'll have those listed in the chart within this video. So your um, review, so that way, if you were something that you definitely want to take note of or something you really want to see, that you can just pause the video anytime and definitely take a look at it. So that way you won't be um, out of the loop on what kind of technologies if that these headphones um, include. So that way, if you, those are my tech geeks out there, if you definitely want to see all the intricate tech specs, I'll have those listed for you within the video itself. And also, I'll also have the compatibility um, list within that uh, grant, uh, graph for you within that um, chart as well. So that way you can see what type of devices, other devices or um, that you can connect to, especially as far as the Xbox console, which ones that you can exactly pair with with no issues. Now, I almost forgot, but I definitely want to mention this so that way you won't be um, out of like certain per pertinent information. Now, as far as uh, customizing the sound settings on the headphones, you will have to do this either through the console. Uh, yeah, you have to do it through the console uh, or the PC uh, with the Windows, uh, well, with the Xbox app. Now, unfortunately, you can't do this using your cell phone or any other type of device. You have to be able to sync to that uh, Microsoft, the Xbox app, so that way 
that once these headphones are paired that you can change the eq settings the bass the treble all that good stuff as far as all the getting the right acoustics and the right your right sound so you definitely have to pair these with the, a device with the xbox apps that preferably the console which is the easiest um so that way that you can go in there you can change the boost and the, I mean, the bass and the, the eq settings so you can definitely tailor that acoustics to your listening needs now for the pros of these xbox wireless head headphones definitely they're great for gaming as far as the sound quality is superb and as everything else as far as um just the overall functions and the dial um controls and anything like that and the mute and all that good stuff and especially the technology built into them as far as the auto voice um isolation auto mute sorry those with those, those two features along along with the other stuff i just mentioned i'll definitely say these are definitely the pros for the headphones and also a great pro is the fact for all these headphones only cost 99 dollars. so for 99 dollars, you're definitely getting some high quality headphones compared to other models out there that range in the hundreds of um, hundreds of dollar range so you're definitely getting a bargain with these headphones with all that it does and as far as all of that it will provide for your li music listening and your gaming needs now that we did with the good now you definitely can't have some headphones without the bad so as far as even though with all the good stuff that these headphones offer there are some cons that i had about them now the first con that i had about these headphones was the fact that they didn't fold now i know you're about to say they're gaming headphones and there's not really and many gaming headphones if any at all that fold when you travel but just given the weight of these headphones and just everything else you know just definitely the weight i would definitely prefer if they had like some type of a case that came with or just maybe um a foldable feature that way it'll be easy to transport as these headphones are pretty hefty um and they won't fit into every situation as far as how much stuff you might have in your bag or things of that nature now the second con I had about these headphones was the color options. I know like, I love the black with the green accents um, to represent that Xbox thing, but definitely with the Xbox Series S available, I would definitely wish they had like a white version. So that way, if you definitely with my people who are OCD about matching the color to color, spec to spec, I wish they had like a white version was these same headphones which would look pretty nice with the xbox series s console so definitely have that aesthetic look so xbox if you're listening microsoft if this you know if you guys are listening definitely take that in consideration um i think that you'll make a killing of having two options available for different users out there who might prefer a different color option so all right guys that's the end of the video i hope you took some insight i hope you got some some knowledge and some uh, of this review of these headphones and definitely hope you I helped you out with making this purchasing decision about being these headphones now as always I'll definitely have a link down in the description below for your purchasing of these headphones so if you definitely wanted to check these out it'll definitely be an affiliated link so definitely appreciate the support uh, at the proceeds from the sales of these headphones I get a small commission of it which goes back into the channel and as far as getting product and everything like that for you for me to review for you guys so again i thank you for your support um in advance now also as well i definitely invite you to subscribe to this channel if you definitely got some insight out of this video and you want to see more reviews of different products especially your headphones then definitely i invite you to subscribe to the channel hit the all notifications bell so that way you won't miss any future uploads and definitely smash the like icon just to show your support which i appreciate that as well so again you can follow me on social media on twitter and instagram at the everyman tech dot at, at the everyman tech and that's on both twitter and instagram and i'll have that written down in the description below as well for you Again, I want to thank you guys for taking the time out to check out this video, and I hope to see you on the next one. Bye.